All right, church, we are looking at Matthew chapter 20 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is malcontents. Get this from Jesus' parable of the laborers in the vineyard. And Jesus is describing the scene where this master goes out. He hires people from the early morning day, as soon as kind of the day laborers are out there, and they start working. And then throughout the day, he hires more and more people who need the work. And at the very end of the day, as he's going to kind of pay them, he agreed to pay the first people a Daenerys, which was a standard day's wages. And as he started to hire people from the morning on, he does it the reverse at the end of the day when he's trying to pay them. He pays the people who started at the end of the day first and pays them a Daenerys, a day's wage, even though they might have only worked an hour or two and three hours, four hours, right? It kind of, throughout the day, they kept hiring people. And he gets to the people that Jesus, or the master hired first, and they're hoping to get more than one Daenerys, but they only get one. And so they're dissatisfied, they're angry. They say, look, we worked all day and we only got one day's wage. Those people who only worked one hour got the same pay as us. This is not fair. And Jesus is looking to address this just as our chapter yesterday on merit, on thinking once again that we can dictate to God how he is going to operate, how he is going to reward. Our focus needs to be on the fact that we're saved or a part of God's kingdom and we are to do what Christ calls us to do. The Gospel of Luke, there's this great line that Jesus says that says well, we should respond to God with, we are unworthy servants, we have only done our duty. Once again, there should be pleasure, there should be joy in our service for God as we're seeking to be in His presence, but ultimately realize He is God and we are human. He is the ultimate judge of what is fair or what is unfair. And so have humble expectations and have joy in serving God. Do not be a malcontent like these people described here in this parable. All right, church, have a great day.